My name's Tony Curran. I'm an artist. I work in drawing and painting, and I've been living in Wagga Wagga for the last five years. I've been particularly interested in making portraits that connect better with our sense of what a person is today. So I'm, I'm particularly interested in capturing the flux and change, constant change of people. So two ways that I test that are about long life drawing sittings with uh, my subjects where I just constantly draw them and they're free to move and leave the sitting whenever they like. And these works tend to become larger abstract paintings and videos. And then there's another side to my practice where I have in situ gallery sort of drawing performances where people are invited to sit for me for uh, chunks of time and they're in control of the sitting again, but it exists in a, in a larger series of, of digital drawings. I think art is something bigger than what we consider a drawing or a painting or a photograph or whatever. I think it can encompass all of these things. What happens when it, it leaps over to start to become art is when there's some kind of real investigation of the meaning and the materials, or the meaning or the materials, or something very particular about what the person is doing to transcend all the other applications of it. In the paintings from the last few years, one of the things that has always resonated with me philosophically about psychology and about what the person is, is this sense of uh, constant flux, and we're constantly evolving and constantly changing, constantly shifting. But how visual culture tends to dominate today is the idea of photography and that frozen image. So I think that there's a real, there's a real disparity between what our ideology is of self and personhood and how a person lives through a life and our modes of, our conventional modes of representation in society. So I'm interested in finding ways that play outside of the, the constraints of that static frozen image in order to draw and represent somebody.